is in Uranus zone this time. And yet again, it's in a bathroom that's being built. <laughs> so, I mean, they changed it up a bit, but they didn't change it up too much. Um, but I do like Uranus. It's actually very large. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Funny. Um, and it's very open and it's got a lot of things there. I do like that and it's pretty cool. And I like how they added so many new weapons. I think it's like uh, 15 to 20 new weapons that I think I've noticed. Which I think is pretty baller, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I am... Um, I actually did just get a text uh, that I'm looking at right now. And uh, it did say that I w I'll be leaving in about 10 minutes. So uh, I, I think I have enough time just to do familiar faces. Then I'm going to save and then I'm going to go eat. So you guys can enjoy this video. And, um, well, videos. I think this is going to be like, what, a 10-parter? Probably not 10 parts, but like, I don't know. Uh, I'd say six parts, maybe six more parts, and then I'm gonna record some more. I don't know when, probably a couple days from now, because I'm gonna be really busy with uh, Battlefield 3 coming out in a couple days, and I want to make sure I have a, a, a little bit of room on my hard drive to record a day one kind of thing, because I'm doing a road to road to Colonel 100 Star, I think it's what it's called. So that's gonna take me forever, because let's face it, uh, like there are so much experience that you need i think it's like 100 billion no, i'm kidding i don't know how much it is but it's a lot and it's going to take me forever to get so we'll just see how far i can get in the time that it takes me to get the next battlefield uh hopefully i'll be able to get to colonel 100 star eventually but uh in the time that it takes me to get there i hope i do get better at the game because i noticed that i'm not that good at the game and i do have um yeah like, like i noticed because in the beta uh the I wasn't that good. I, I was pretty shitty. So that's why I've noticed. And uh, I, I really hope I do improve. Uh, but then again, there was some issues with the servers and whatnot. Oh, come on. Frame rate. Please start working. Anyways, th yeah, there were some issues with the servers and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure they'll fix it. I mean, DICE seems to like to care about their game. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. I mean, uh, it can't be any worse than it was in the beta. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, let's just find this bath. I think that's the bathroom over there that I have to go into. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be it because the arrow is pointing into that general, uh, direction, that left area, which is probably where I have to go. I have to turn in there and then turn it left and then go into the men's room like always. So I'm going to shut up because there's going to be a cutscene. So I hope you enjoyed this commentary so far, but enjoy this, con uh, this video. Thing all the way. 
I was not expecting him to kill her. That was a little bit of a twist. Actually, something I find funny is this game probably has more differences than uh, from um, Dead Rising 2 to this than Modern Warfare 3 is going to have for Modern Warfare 2. And that's the funny thing. And this game was only 40 bucks. And the fact that there's probably going to be more changes to this than Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3, that is going to be funny. I'm going to laugh so hard if that's so true. Oh, man. Uh, I can't wait. Oh, this is interesting. He sends out zombies now. Okay. That's weird. Alright. Oh, shit. He's doing a lot of damage to me. Hopefully I'll get him down before he kills me. Alright. Uh, is he jumping in? Okay, so I'm going to have to deal with more zombies now. I'll just use the bat. Boom. Hey, Rocky, I'm totally from New York. You see, I use, like, you know, the bat and whatnot. Anyways, that was completely against what I was trying to make a point of. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to use the, these gloves on him because they do a lot more damage than the bat would do. Oh, come on. Why Why does it when... Uh, there's, like, a scheduled amount of damage you can do. Like, one hit can do a certain amount, and then you have to give it a break, and then another hit can do a certain amount. I guess it's because they don't want you to be able to kill them instantly. Like you could in Dead Rising 2, I mean in Dead Rising with the Mega Man Blaster. But enjoy this cutscene! Yeah! Now, I noticed he killed himself, but technically that wouldn't happen. Actually, if he did that and he slit his throat, it would have taken him five minutes to die. Which actually would have been a lot more painful than dealing with the change. So, it's a, it's a little fun fact for you guys. Actually, my ride isn't here yet, so I'm probably just going to go to the, uh, the safe house and do that cure. Ooh, what's this? Is this money? I like money. How much is in there? Ooh, it looks like a lot. Ooh, 25k. So yeah, you're going to want to look around for those uh, suitcases because they're spread out around the places here and they have a lot of money in them sometimes and they have, there could be ones that have like 100 bucks in them, which really pisses me off sometimes. Um, so I'm probably just going to go to Case 3-1, watch the video, and then I'm going to end it. So um, if, uh, if I have time to do that, I'm probably I'm going to be like, hey guys, all right, so... The video is going to end here, and I'll talk to you guys after. Mm. But anyways, uh, I'm just glad my HD PVR isn't shitting on me. Uh, is that a metal bat? I don't want the metal bat. The metal bat sucks. Or, well, it's not that. Oh, my God. No, again. Okay, I got to look out for those guys. Those guys piss me off. Um, but, yeah, I, I got to look out for those uh, those crawling zombies. They're a pain in the ass. And metal bats, they're pretty good. I mean, yeah, they shoot. They do hit baseballs and kill zombies pretty quickly, so... It's not that bad. I, I'm just overreacting a little bit because I, uh, I'm just an asshole. <laughs> That's the simplest way I could put it. I'm an asshole. So let's see what we got going on here. Um, uh, let's see. Do I have time? Uh, I do have to leave at like 6:30 latest, but I, my ride's not here. That's the sad thing. Uh, oh well. Um. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to play a little bit more, get to the cutscene, and then save, and uh, yeah, then I'll uh, have to play a different day, and um, I'll do another live commentary for you guys, because you guys have been so supportive of me, and that's something I really do enjoy from an audience such that's so great like yourselves. You guys have made this game even funner for me, so that's uh, all I'm really going to say. Um, so yeah... What else can I talk about? I mean, I've, I've been talking for an hour and a half, and I, uh, I haven't even had anything that new happen to me in the next, in the last day or so, so, yeah, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> uh, I, I do try to talk about the gameplay as much as I can to try and help you guys, but there isn't really much else. I mean, I could try to give you a little bit of tips to help you guys out a little bit. Like, if you're in a crowd of zombies, take out a weapon that'll uh, do crowd control. Like, my best bet, if I was in a crowd of a lot of zombies, I would pull out a battle axe and hold X, and then you do a whirlwind. So, 
you take out the zombies that are all around you, and then it frees up some space. If uh, you wanted to just take out the zombies that are in front of you, I recommend a bat, maybe the knife gloves, anything that really has a radius in front of you. Uh, it really does help you. Uh, and if you're just fighting one zombie at a time, just take out something like a 2x4, you know, just one at a time, boom, right on the noggin and they're dead. That's all you really need. Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different weapons for a whole bunch of different reasons, and some of them are fun to use. Like, you can pick up scissors and stab a zombie in the face, or you can just st uh, stab him multiple times in the stomach and see if he dies. But, you know what? There's a lot of weapons here. A lot of them you can have fun with. I just, I wish you could have picked up Brandon's sh uh, glass shard. The, the, I think the guy's name was Brandon. The hippie's glass shard, and just, you know kill people with it that would have been interesting I, I would have wondered why frank west is doing that because well first of all if you're p holding sharp glass with people's blood on it and, and it's got like i don't know uh sharpness i don't know why are you wearing gloves uh, that would be my my thing i, I kind of lost track with what i was saying there um <clears throat> so <sighs> All right, so this has been a very long day. Uh, I've gotten a lot done for you guys on this game. And uh, one thing I do like about Dead Rising is you get a lot of gameplay right, done. Like a lot. Talk. That guy, he's part of your group. He pretty much admitted it to my face, and I saw him take money from TK. That guy, he was new to Cure. We wouldn't do this. But that cutthroat TK might. You have to believe me. I'll tell you what I believe. TK paid him to destroy his own show. But why? Hey, what was that? I don't know. It looks like something's going on at the entrance to this maintenance tunnel. Can't quite tell for sure, but it looks like someone is moving equipment or something. Looks pretty organized. Might be survivors. Might be a lead. I'm gonna find out right now. Listen. Frank. What? Nothing. Just... I know this is a great opportunity for you. But there's a lot more at stake. 